Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for Judge Dredd the Miniatures Game Renegade Robots by Mongoose Publishing and Warlord Games. Um, okay guys, so let's take a look at the box art for a minute. Um, okay, so that's obviously, that's definitely from one of the comics, I remember that. Um, it's definitely from one of the case files too. Okay, so let's take a oops. Let's take a quick look at the side. As you can see, as I said, it's by Mongoose Publishing. Oh, I forgot Rebellion and 2000 AD, and also by Warlord Games. Um, to be honest, guys, this is probably one of the last Judge Red Minute Game videos I do because I think this is my last piece of my collection. Okay, so let's take a look. What you get in the inside? Oh, let's take a look at the back art for a minute. Okay, there's the robots painted up. I do have to say, whoever does them, it does a very good job. Let's, maybe I could turn the light on behind. No, glare. So I cannot. Okay, so. Sometimes robots in Mega City 1 manage to break their own programming. But this is normally done by criminals or technicians with a grudge. These robots can escape from their former masters and take up hiding within the darkest areas of the city. As such, dis, uh, as such disused or irradiated areas, or even the undercity. Here, they meet up with other escape robots, and and may form a force intent on bullying its, uh, building its own criminal empire, and bringing terror to the squishy pink things that force them into um, solitude. Okay, so let's have a look. What you actually get in the pack? Well, you get this little plastic bit for it. Sorry guys, I seem to, I don't know why, but my nose started running after I started um, trying to film. Oh, if you can hear a panting in the background, it's the puppy. Uh, he's my biggest bane, unfortunately, at this minute, when I try and do my videos. Okay, this one's a bit different from the packaging from the others. Let's see if I can, oh, I did, but I think I broke the plastic. Okay, so let's put that there like that for the minute. Okay, so you get few of these stands you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You also get this little bit of foam as you're doing all the Warlord products which one of the robots wants to stay attached to. Okay, well obviously straight away that is the demolition droid. Let me turn the light on behind me. So we get a better view on how this thing looks. Um, tell you the truth, it's quite plain, really. There's not much detail on it. I suppose you paint your own detail on. Again, sorry about the uh, no nose. So, okay, so like right, that, he's got a little uh, monkey wrench there, or also he's got a what? I'm not sure what gun that is. It's a spitter. Yeah, it's a spitter gun. Okay, I believe that's a, survey, a Sovo droid. Yeah, again, not much detail actually on the models. Oh, this one's got a bit more detail on him. He's got a... Oh, it's kind of a shotgun, but I'm trying to... Stomper gun, I believe. Yeah. No, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I've got another droid with another gun. Uh, no, this is a junk droid. This one's the junk droid. Obviously, the one that's been put together by little bits that he can find to repair it. So... Okay, there's a, another surveyor droid with a... Well, it looks like a small pistol. Sorry. A small pistol and chainsaw. Again, yeah, not much detail on them. I suppose, again, it's what you paint on them yourself. One part of the robot dog. I think there's two of these of the exact same design. Might not be actually the exact same design. Nope, nope, they're the exact same design. Okay, so this is the part of the combat droid. Obviously, some of his tracks. 
you get two of them. Here are the dog's feet. And here is another set of the dog's feet. Okay guys, there's not a vote at the end of this video. Yeah, um, basically I've got an idea. Uh, because I haven't got any more Dread stuff coming, because I haven't got any more... Um, no, I, I might buy some more Dread stuff later on, but at this minute I haven't got any. What I've got an idea of, I still have a few more Batman things to do, I've still got some Bolt action, and I've still got some Super Dungeon Explorer. Instead of me doing videos where I've got to vote, oh, choose this one from this game genre, or this one from that, what I'll do is I'll try and continue the certain games that I do have, and like I've been doing with the others, I'll put, I might even put my whole collection out in front of you, and let you pick which one you'd like me to do. And then I'll do that one as my next video, along that chain of videos. Um, the reason why I'm managing to do an unboxing today, guys, is um, I've got a little bit of time, not enough time to do a single player uh, video of any of my games, but I've got enough time to do an unboxing. Again, I apologise for the amount of the computer games that have been coming up. And, yeah, guys, please, you know, uh, I will be coming back soon. Uh, yeah, so, I've got a few days coming up at the uh, end of this week. So... And it's also going to be my two years of being on YouTube. So I want to say thank you to everyone for that as well. So everyone, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you would like to leave a comment, again, please do. Let me know what you think about my ideas. Um, again, I apologise for the computer games. I will be coming back to doing the other stuff soon. Goodbye, and I hope you're all having a good day. Hello, everybody. Okay, I've been trying for the last... 40, 50 minutes to try and do a video. Um, so if I seem a little tired in some of my unboxings that come up in the next couple of days, he is the reason. This is my bane at this minute. This is the thing that keeps wanting my attention. It's quite frustrating if I'm honest. Um, so he's not whining at this minute like he was a few minutes ago. He's not getting uh, agitated, he's not throwing something onto the table that he's trying to get me to play play fetch with him or throw. <sighs> he's a lovely little animal, but unfortunately he's a little git. Anyway, 